after. Okay, guys, welcome to the team. I'm super, super, super excited. Everyone is here. Um, I'm sorry I have a, a blanket on, but I am freaking freezing in my room for some reason. Oh, perhaps because I left the windows open all day. Um, <laughs> so I am really excited of seeing all the wins happening, um, what we are doing, and welcome to everyone who is not in our little leg of Jeremy's tree. I'm uh, super excited to co-collaborate with everyone. Um, and if you have anything that you would like to add or whatever, just add it to the chat box or just unmute yourself. Um, but something that I've noticed, like Rochelle and I started um, a group basically asking people to subscribe, <laughs> that's my word, to raising their hand and saying, I'm going to work my business 30, day, 30 minutes to an hour a day. They are checking in with us. They're asking for specific posts. And then right before that they start working, they're checking in with us for individual um, coaching to see where things are, there's gaps, where they're struggling, um, and like how we can turn their business around more specifically to that person versus being in a chat and giving directive. And some people just can't raise their hand and commit to 30 day, 30 minutes a day. Like that's okay. It's where it's not that they were excluded. It's just that Rochelle and I really wanted to work with people specifically, look at their businesses from a non-personal way, but like, okay, listen, if you're posting 17 times a day, that's tanking your algorithm. Like let's work on that. Give you specific directive or and Dan, I'm going to use you as an example. Dan was adding a whole bunch of new friends, which was great, but he wasn't turning them anywhere. It wasn't really going anywhere. Or he was spending a lot of time messaging people, but they weren't reading their messages because they didn't respond to his friend requests, right? So that was like a big thing that we were able to see. And one thing that I want to share with everyone is that we do social media to have conversations to make connections. But at what, at some point you need to have ketone conversations like, and you have to rip the bandaid off. Rochelle is really, really good at this. She will reach, she will make a connection with someone and comment on their wall a few times and then slide into her inbox and be like, Hey, listen, uh, I have a really random question for you. What do you know about ketones and ketosis? She's already made the friend with the person. She's already commented a few times on their page, but she's not beating around the bush and that person's not waiting for that person to be pitched to. It's just having the conversation. So if you're not having conversations about ketones, how, like really look at your business and contact your upline and figure it out. Like, why are you having these conversations? Is it because you're scared? Is it because you don't know how to make the transition or are you just genuinely not having them at all? But that is the one thing across the board from everyone that like I'm noticing that like you have to have the conversation. If you're not having the conversation, what are you doing? That doesn't mean go spam everyone a million times, but have a, a appropriate conversation. Get with your champ on your team. Send them screenshots. Like that's what we're doing too. Like sending screenshots of like how the conversations are going so that we can make little tweaks. So hopefully that was a little helpful for you guys. Rochelle, do you have anything to add on that? Anything that you've noticed? working with people specifically individually? Um, no, just the faster that you can get through your friends list and deciphering who is curious about what you're doing and who doesn't care, the more like you can free up that space, get more people and improve your algorithm because you want people looking at your stuff who want to be looking at it. And those people who don't care, unless you're really close friends with them or family, what's the point? Yeah, exactly. Cool. Thank you. Um, Dr. Jeremy, anything else to add? before I go into the ATM? Uh, no, and I think we touched on this before, but I found super uh, beneficial to get into people's stories um, and comment so that you're actually getting into their inbox, you know, easily without being weird. Uh, and that's an easy way to create conversations. Also, uh, one thing Emily and I were talking about is something that's super simple, but probably I would guess maybe 10% of us on here are doing it is sending birthday messages every single day to your friends list. I mean, how simple is that to create a conversation? So we're missing a lot of simple opportunities. Um, we get busy and I'm very guilty of this, get busy doing things that are not income generating, that are not creating ketone conversations. Thanks. 
Yeah, definitely. Like, of course we want to make connections, but we don't want to be, you know, spending hours and hours with them. So like make a list of like, okay, I talked to these people on Monday, but like by Friday, if they're like, if you're not having a conversation with them, like, Hey, I know this is super random, but I noticed on your profile, you said you were tired or you are looking for whatever, like make a connection and then go right in. So that was the one thing I just noticed for sure that I wanted to touch on and have some champs talk about as well. Um, and then the other thing that I've just been noticing, like as much as I love every one of all of y'all on here, like I am going to do, and I recommend everyone else doing this too. We can follow each other, but like let's unfriend each other. And the reason why is because we're messing up each other's algorithms. Like if I just po make a post and then Dr. Jeremy comments it, and then it's going to show to like every other uh, promoter on improve it. It's not going to be valuable to anyone that I'm really trying to attract. So really be aware of that. Um, and then also like your posting schedule, be intentional about what you're trying to post. Like what is the outcome? Like sometimes I'll post random stupid stuff because you know, it's funny or I'm watching a TV show and I think it's whatever. But like if you're posting three, four, five times a day, like you're actually ruining your visibility because Facebook is super confused on what to show. So I think it's been really helping our team getting specific directive. Like today we did a, I think it was thirsty Thursday. Um, oh no, it was think Thursday, like some thought provoking, um, post. So if you need stuff like that, get back with your champ. Um, but I just wanted to cover that more or less for our team as well as anyone else that feels like they need value out of that. Okay. So ad tag message who knows what that means who even knows what the acronym is? well i just told you what it is but like who knows general ideas like atm so everyone has a general idea of how it works but you have no idea to how to actually make it profitable is that what i'm gathering i see a lot of head nods okay so a lot of you guys have facebook groups i'm gonna screen share i'm gonna show you mine i promise there's nothing magical going on inside my group that like I am scared to show, like, I don't really care. I just have a boundary for my business and to protect our team, not because of against all of y'all, but because, you know, we don't want to be cross recruiting customers or promoters inside each other's groups. So I just have a very hard boundary of like no other promoters inside my group to protect our team. And not saying that again, anyone's doing anything wrong. It just is what it is. But I promise you, we're not doing anything crazy. We're not doing anything magical. The reason why it works is because we're all committed to making it work. Like how many of you guys would ever go see, uh, I don't know, Dr. Jeremy teach a lecture, but there's no one in there. There's not a single person in the room, right? Like that would be awkward and weird, right? So it's the same thing that applies. Like no one wants to go into a dead group where there's like five people. So don't reinvent the wheel, get with everybody and move the wheel forward so that you can start um, building some income and really work together. But it really fundamentally comes down with setting a boundary. Inside our group, we have no links for each other. Like no one knows my link, no one knows Rochelle's link. We don't just like, oh, hey guys, there's a reboot. Like I don't post, hey, there's a reboot. Everybody come by from me. I attract people to come inside my group and I tell them specifically, hey, if anyone ever asks who is your person, I am your person. So you have to make sure that you're taking the people through this process specifically. And you have to make sure that you're being very adamant. Like, hey, listen, like I'm your person. If you need anything, let me know. And add them as a friend so that your upline can see, oh, well, Pam is actually friends with Rochelle. So I'm actually not going to, I'm going to put them in a three-way chat to get them started. So there's no shady business happening. You know, the rules from the beginning, does everyone follow me? And does anyone need any clarification or set your mind at ease? Like we have 22,000 people or 21,000 in our group right now. And it's been working for us. Everyone contributes to the group. Um, and I don't think that there's and maybe like one out of every thousand cases we have an, an oopsie that we easily fix. And because if it is your team, you can just email support and say, hey, listen, I co-sign on the movement of this person. It was a complete accident. And then they'll move them over. But that has literally happened twice in the last year. Is everyone good? Emily, Wendy, Shannon. 
since you've called this meeting. <laughs> um, I just want to make sure that you guys are cool with that. So that's the first part, making sure that you're setting boundaries. The second thing is it, again, only works if you guys are contributing to it. So like Rochelle and I really can't be running our entire group ourselves. So our team contributes to it. So like we've all made videos of like why we love prove it and we all contribute value in there. Do we share our outside lives inside our group? No, but because that's not fair. But if I have someone that's contributing inside the group and I'm like, Hey, up, oh, somebody doesn't have a person. They kind of found this place person by accident. If you're showing up to zoom and you're doing the things and you're really trying in your business, then it's like, okay, well you just created value in the group. If that person doesn't have a person, go ahead and take that person. But again, those are rules that you need to set with in your group dynamic. And that's been working for us. Um, so that's that. And I would suggest like really making sure you guys are working together. So like if you have established groups, I'm not saying like go and change everything. You know what I mean? Like for yourself, like I actually thought because I've been, my following is like pretty big, like maybe I should start a new group. I did it as a test and honestly, it's too confusing. People are like, where, like, who do I get? It's not duplicatable, right? So like if I enroll Rochelle and then Rochelle has her own group, and then it's just like, okay, but then do I use the keto lifestyle and friends group? Or do I use like Rochelle's group? Like if you have one funnel group, which means you funnel people in through a system that works so much better than creating your own. But with the caveat that like, it really just depends on where you are on the business, but like, it really should be worked out. Do you have a list of rules set for each promoter has read and agreed to, or are you having conversations? Pretty much when we onboard, we're just like, this is how it's going to go. I'm, I think, um, I'm not sure. Well, Jimmy's on here. So Jimmy's brand new. Welcome Jimmy. Um, so he just heard the rules, but we do an onboarding. I'm going to show you the exact process of like what I would do with a brand new promoter. So you guys can see and understand what's happening. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. Um, but Shannon, of course, like whatever works for your organization, like I would suggest that's actually a good idea. Maybe I should have a, a rules like team, my team. If you guys feel like we should have a set of rules that everyone agrees to hit me, hit a message, send me a message. Okay. So this is keto lifestyle with Mandy and friends. Um, and then once Rochelle came on, it just turned into this whole big old thing. <laughs> so here we are. Um, and it's all, you know, set up with a nice banner. Like you don't want to use, and this is what I also want to say, like, don't turn your people off right away by making them sound like it's just the customer, like buy my crap group. Because how many times have you guys been enrolled into a buy my crap group? And you're like, I don't even know this person trying to sell me makeup and it's for Dr. Jeremy. Right. So like make sure that you have like a nice, title and like it's not just like prove it the less prove it stuff that you have visible probably the better because you're not going to turn people off so this is just how it is people join the group um there's a discussion a unit but as you can see in the announcement section it's our rules so people can read it and then once you have someone interested you can tag them right in this video. Hey, I tagged you in our rules and that cool campfire video. Do you guys want to check it out or would you check it out or whatever your verbiage is? Um, but do you see that like Rochelle's tagged Barbara in here and it says, here's our support group. You know, it's not pushy. It's not like watch this video and then buy 10 day. It's just like, Hey, welcome out to our group because like, depending on where they're at in their process, like, and you need to find that out where they're at. But like, if they don't buy from you within the first couple of days, they might see a sale or they might see an offer for a 10 day or something like that. Then they might want to buy later because peer pressure, they're going to see all of the comments down here. So I'll go into that in a second. So that's the announcement section. Um, but what really is what, we have taken a lot of time 
to do is this unit section and there's nothing in here that you can't get off of prove it's website right so like i have the reboot overview frequently asked questions like i wrote it out but like you guys know what frequently asked questions like how many times can i have coffee on the reboot like no like you guys answer the same questions over and over again the longer you're in this company so you know what um it is Everyone I add, I'm already in a chat with talking to them about ketones. Yeah, exactly. So I'll go into like how to set up and do the chat and like some sort of verbiage or something like that. But I just want to show you like what we have here available. It cuts down on connections with like Dr. Jeremy or I who have a whole big organization. Um, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't use us. It just means that if the question is already kind of in the unit section, you can tag them. Where's the reboot manual? Oh, hey girl, let me tag you in here. So say I tag Rochelle, the customer in the reboot manual, right? It actually bumps that manual to the beginning of the feed, which then gets eyeballs on the reboot manual of people that are in the group who may have never done the reboot before, who might pop open the manual and be like, oh cool, like I wanna read that. So like this stuff was like an email from Prove It that I just paired with a picture. Here's a reboot waitlist. This reboot waitlist you guys can use in your group. Do you wanna know why? Because this reboot waitlist actually asks everyone who is your Prove It promoter. It gets their phone number, who invited you to the group or how'd you find out? Well, I need to edit that 21 day challenge, but like you see the point, like we're, we split this up in the beginning of the month, you know? So there's that, uh, the reboot group. So that's the reboot unit section. Here's like keto resources, like all of basically all of my videos that I've done on ketones and like why, like Aldi and like those types of things. So like if somebody's asking, oh, well, I plateaued, I don't understand. Well, they can tag them in my resource because I already created a video for it, a live video. So they're all here you know, but here's like, and I don't ever say ketones. I say PTKs, um, because it piques curiosity. Um, but here's like how many times you guys get asked like the flavors a million of million times. Well, guess what? You can actually tag people in the differences. And I just found out today that Facebook is actually giving groups formatting. So I can format this to make it a little bit nicer and easier to read. But for right now, it is what it is. And it has like a breakdown of all of everything that you need. I personally did a video just because I'm comfortable with doing that. But of course the campfire video is totally fine. I explain how to do a 10 day experience. Um, like, why do you need to do ketones? Here's Michael Rutherford talking about ketones. Like that's a prove it thing. That's a really ugly picture, so I need to take that down. Um, but there's like Ryan Lowry stuff. Do you guys get the gist or like understanding of like all of this stuff is all here for them? Ketone Clarity, all the links to that inside, that's all on Facebook. You guys can add those in there as well. And then here's like Dr. Andy, and then there's like the timestamps so you can get familiar with up, oh, we talked about autoimmune and thyroid and oh, sorry. I, hi, Dr. Andy. See you in a week. Um, but it's all here. And guys, this took like it doesn't this takes hours, time and contribution. Rochelle was nice enough to get all of the inspire on videos. We're working together, which we need to finally execute on like these inspire on videos, but instead of it just saying Mitch Newman, nobody knows what Mitch Newman is. We're going to talk about chronic fatigue. So we're just going to say like Mitch Newman talks about dot, dot, dot. And then, but that we haven't, we've been saying this for months now, we were going to do it. And we haven't done it yet. It's because we haven't made it a priority, but it's something that needs to be done. Right. I'm trying to check the chat. Okay. Yes. Can I hire you? Um, <laughs> you can 
give me hugs and love at Epic. How about that? So, and I am still at 40% on my computer, so we're good. So, and then we have Spanish. Miss Nixa is on our team. So we have some Spanish stuff that's happening around here. It's in here somewhere, but like, it's all here essentially is what I'm saying. But again, it takes work and it, you all have to divvy it up. Prove it is so good about having content um, or somebody who repeats themselves over and over again, instead of repeating yourself over and over again, pop on your camera, who cares? Guys, I'm on a live in a freaking blanket. Like it doesn't matter. Just pop on your video and make a video and put it in your group in the unit section so you can tag people in it. Does everyone follow me so far? I'm going to um, stop my share for a second and have a look. I said that earlier. Yes, yeah, stop friending every promoter. I'm checking up on the chat. This may have done, but do you want... No. Okay. Michelle asks a good question. Do you want your own group and then feed them into another group? N no. You want to be in a chat with them because here's the thing. If you put yourself in a customer's shoes, right? So like if you were a customer brand new to prove it and I said, Hey, um, come join this group. But then, then you see something about PTKs and you're like, Oh, okay. Uh, actually, can you come and join this group? Like it's awkward and weird. Like we have everything here as a funnel and we have the boundary set and you add them as friends. So it's very easy for us to be able to be like, no, this is Michelle's person. So, and you're telling them verbally like, Hey, listen, I'm your person. You mean a messenger chat? Yeah. So we do a lot of stuff on social media, Jimmy, just because you're new, you can do whatever we, and I will get together for more individual conversation on what works best for you. But guys, this works whether or not you're on social media. This works if you're in the grocery store. Like this works if you're at the airport. Like this works if you're at your job. Everybody has a Facebook. Most people do. Hey, if they're interested in ketones, like, oh my God, I have this cool group. So many people are seeing XYZ result. Insert the result that they're feeling like they want to get out of it, right? So you're having these conversations with people ketones come up. Don't just be like, buy a 10 day experience, ask them what they want to get out of the ketones, right? It's our job as promoters to have these conversations because we need to find out what information we can match them to and tell stories around that. So like somebody who has issues with joint mobility, oh man, I'm always tired and I wake up sore in the morning and I just am super overweight. Okay, well, hey, listen, like I, my friend Mandy, she has this cool Inspire On video. It's inside my Facebook group. Can I just add you to it? Once you accept, I'll tag you and have a watch at it. And when you're done, send me a message. Is that cool? Does everyone follow like that kind of lingo or like the direction of how things are supposed to go? Yes, don't just toss people in your group. If, and that's one thing that's a hard rule on ours is like, guys, you put the group at jeopardy for the entire group <laughs> team if you add just willy nilly to the group because Facebook will not have it anymore. And if you've not noticed, a lot of people who don't accept to um, join the group won't technically be added until they press OK. So make sure you're taking them through that process. Hey girl, super excited that you're interested in ketones or hey, I have this cool video inside my amazing face, Facebook group. It's about ketogenic lifestyle. Is there, can I please add you to it and I'll tag you in all the information you need. No one is going to say no to them. And if that, and if they do say no to that, they're probably not gonna buy from you anyways. They're not really that interested, right? So that's it. Um, so, okay. It, Michelle says the same. She's never had a, she, Michelle is doing crazy numbers. You would think that she has a ton of promoters, which now she has one, um, or two Jimmy, but like 
she does crazy volume and she has really built her business based on utilizing this group. And she's a full-time teacher and she teaches spin class. She's busy as all hell and she utilizes the group to her advantage. So Kat, don't make it harder than it is. Like it's really this simple, but we overcomplicate it because we just get in our own ways. Is everyone does I'm gonna stop talking and like open it up for questions at the moment. I okay. feel like I've got I mean I I get on content and all that stuff. It's just getting the units and all that stuff separated and I mean but here I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is. It's not hard to create the unit. We make you like it just takes time. But like, it doesn't have to be this overcomplicated thing. Y'all need to work together if that's what, I know that you have your own group. I know we talked about this at whatever event last time, but like, they all run together. But like, you have to make a decision, and this is for everyone. You have to make a decision and freaking execute it. And if it doesn't work, pivot, right? So Annette brings up a good point. She has damn calls. You guys have better by choice group that was created and does have units, but guess what? Nobody used it. So it's like awkward as all hell what to like add people to the group. So it's just a matter of like, not everyone being like, okay, I want to use the group, but then use people use it for three days and then stop doing it. Go ahead, Jeremy. Yeah, so we, we put a lot of effort in putting that group, ad tag group together. And what a lot of people did was, um, you know, they saw that, that some people, you know, some champs had their own separate group. And so they thought, well, I need to have my own group, right? So they, so they made their own keto group and, and focused a lot of time and effort into that. But I see a lot of people struggling with it because it's super hard. It's super time consuming doing a group by yourself, creating content, creating interaction, um, engaging with people when you're also trying to, you know, promote on your personal page and most people have a full-time job. And so what I'm recommending is, is to our, you know, my team that wants to use our ad tag message group is to consider that using a, you know, using a team group is more, makes more sense, right? With the time that you have, you know, collaborating with a group of people to provide content and excitement and interaction makes more sense than struggling to do a group by yourself. It's, if that's not your forte, not everybody has that skill set, nor does everybody have the time that it takes to make that successful. Yeah. Um, I agree. And one of the problems with having your own group is it, it doesn't start to take on its own life until you get about 5,000 people in there. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I like I did a beta test on my own because I was gonna I was like, I just got this whimsical idea that I was gonna dump everybody into a keto reboot group. That was keto reboot with Mandy. And I was gonna make all I was gonna do all this volume because I was growing a group and I was gonna do live trainings in there. And then I would transfer them over. Guys, I sold 25 reboots. And I like put so much effort into creating the damn group. I had 300 people in there. And like, it just didn't do anything. Like, it's just, you get into this group, you know, and there's 20,000 people in our group and all 20,000 of us, are, them are drinking ketones. It's the same people, but like, it's our job to constantly be growing the group and providing content, regardless if there's five or 5,000 or 50,000 or whatever, we just, you guys just have to really make a conscious effort and a decision as a group, what's going to work best for you. Um, I know Wendy has her brand and her whole thing. So like, I don't really know what, I don't really know what the best decision is for you guys, but you have to make a decision. I'm just telling you that like, I've taught on, I've like, this stuff works for sure. If everyone does it, it's just, and, and then what's the greatest part about it is that some of your posts don't even ever have to be about ketones. Like, Hey guys, I have an amazing Facebook group. I know keto's trending right now. Wanted to see if anybody wanted to join. Comment below if you're not on it. You can talk about the group without having to talk about the product. 
because the group, once you get people into the group, they're going to be like, what's a PTK? What's heart tart? What it actually drop? Like we have to shut off commenting sometimes because like, we don't want to deal with reboots after three days. They are not available for another five. You know what I mean? They're not available. Mandy, for another five. So sorry. yeah, go ahead. Can we talk about cross lines and teams? Cause I know some people are confused as to where they should be and what group they should be in. I'm getting people asking me if they should join your group. Um, so I would recommend that everybody get with their upline champs. Yeah. I saw that in the beginning, like yeah. with the, like one, you have to set boundaries to get with your champ, whoever is on your team, you guys figure it out. Dr. Jeremy doesn't tell me how to run my business. I, he only gives right. me guidance. Right. So I, and set boundaries, like absolutely not like Rose, I let you in my group, but like <laughs> you, yeah. but you know, like I let you come in and guys really seriously, if you want to come in and have a look, come and have a freaking look, but don't be shady and try and join and be like, I'm not a prove it promoter. Cause the question says that like, it's, I don't have anything to hide. I'm happy to help whoever wants. It's just the, the non, the shady nonsense that I don't like. And I will not help someone that acts like that, but get with your champs. Your champs have earned the champion title because they know what they're doing. But like, I don't know everything. Jeremy doesn't know everything. Rose doesn't know everything. We're just doing what works. And if at some point me and Rochelle need to have separate groups because we just need separate groups, then we'll do it. But like we, as of right now, we're doing fine as a community and it's working and no one seems to be upset. So yeah. Yeah. I think everybody's effort um, together is much better than everybody being on their own. For sure. And that's coming from someone who just tried to do it two months ago with a reboot. Oh, and, yeah. I tried to do it and it was terrible. Like, I, I want to shut the group down. <laughs> I probably should. Hey, Mandy. Yes. Um, I just wanted to say that it's been a while and, and I know that probably somebody else has done it. I heard it first from Rose in a, in a, in a Zoom a while back. We're creatures of habit. I, I like to do the same thing because it's easier. So I utilize your group all the time, as you know. And one thing that I learned from Rose was that text replacement business. And so like, if I, if I go through my thing and say, hey, can I add you to the group? Nobody says no. I add them to the group. They always say, sure. I add them to the group. I've got a text replacement ready to go immediately following because every time I add somebody to the group, it says they've been invited. And that means they have to accept the invite. So I've got this thing and I, and I, I did a text replacement with, I have added all one word. And then my whole text replacement comes up and it says, Hey, I've added you to the group, but you're going to have to go in and accept it. That way I never have to retype it every single time. And I have several of those that I use I, the, my stock things that I use. And if you go through those things that you just showed on your, um, on your page, I tag people in those all the time because then my next thing is I go and I tag them. I have about eight that I use all the time. And they, they always come back with questions like, well, what, is, what was that all about? Or what can I do with that? Anyway, it was, it was a great idea and it saves a whole lot of time because my fingers get awful tired from, you know, from texting. And, and, I'm, a, and I'm a finger. I don't use my thumb, so it takes me forever. Anyway, that, I just want to say thanks, Rose, for that advice and anybody else who's, I think Rochelle has, no, has mentioned that one other time that she, she uses it. And I, it's been invaluable. It's really a You're great You're welcome. Time. So Simple besides tips. the text replacement, would you say that like having the group is one, you feel safe in there and two, it's yeah. helped you grow your business? Yeah. And I don't have any group. I have a mess, a little messenger group, but uh, I mean, I don't, I don't even count that as a group, but but if I need to get a hold of people all at once, I do. But no, I, they, I have found that people have been in it for months and then they'll come back. And because they're still getting messages and they finally come back. I've had a bunch of them finally come back and say, okay, I think I'm ready now. They had to read for three months. Yeah, but they'll read and while they're eating their donuts. Right. <laughs> And, and gaining weight and wanting to, yeah. And wanting, wanting to not be so tired. And that, and I always say, well, I'm glad you're on board now. What I really want to say is, well, it's about time. Yeah. This is what Clyde feels like about 
V. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> he looks comfy. Dead. Okay, so answer this question then. Yes. So, like, say with me and Wendy's group, or Wendy's group, and with Emily and me, and, or even my group with me, and I've got all my promoters as moderators, and we've been doing it that way where, you know, like, after I do a live, say after I do a live and I've got 20 people wanting to be added to the group, you know, and I've got Kim Pittman, you know, putting people in there or whatever, you know, how do you guys deal with that? when people are just at, what, requesting to be a part of the group? Like outside promoters? No, just people wanting to be a part of our group. Like they've seen me do a live or they've seen, I even mean, if they're a friend of somebody what, else. Where did they find out about the group? If they found out about the group because of your live, then that's on you, right? You need to add them as a friend. Yeah. And exactly. then add them to the group and tag them. Yeah. So you wouldn't have, like, I've got my people, like, helping, helping me tag, or helping me add, so I need to be the one doing it, not the No, so here's, this is the rule that I say. I spent, I did, until I did my taxes and realized how much money I spent, and <laughs> I was running ads to my group. Now I'm not. I'm doing everything organically. So... And, and I don't mean to say, I'm just going to be very transparent. The way Rochelle and I are running, it adds aside, the way and I, Rochelle, Rochelle and I do this full time. So we create content full time. We are on Zooms full time. We are doing this right. to a level that is full time. We're having conversations with strangers inside groups. We're creating content and people are connecting with us because of content. So let's just remove the ad portion of it and be very transparent. The fact that we're running at a very high level we're adding people way faster and organically and that's just the way it is and people may not remember where they come from but i get burnt the hell out sometimes so i'm like yo rochelle go ahead hey michelle you're doing awesome thanks for contributing to the group like please take this person if you have a i have zero scarcity mindset i really don't care like it yeah. like if you are the top of your tree you need to set the rules and the boundaries for what works for everyone else and tell people and this is what I say to all of my team show up to zooms contribute to the group and I'll happily help you whatever your goals are this is why we're doing the February thing because the February thing people are running and they're going to get you know rewarded you know here and there but it's just yeah. the rule and the boundary that we've set so Rochelle saying like, add them as a friend. Don't drop a link to your live, like have them opt in with, with a comment. Okay. I think this is where it gets, it gets touchy and I'm just going to be transparent here. And Wendy knows this, Dr. J, Emily, you know, this, we've all talked about it. We've been talking about it since September, you know? Well, my point is I like, think I just need to, if I add a, yeah. I mean, if I add, you know, hundreds of people that I've added to a group, you know, I can't keep tabs on them legitimately. And okay, now don't you, don't you get a hold of her. Now don't you get a hold of her whenever, you know, I'm saying, listen, this woman's amazing. You know, she's taught me all this stuff. I, you know, started with her, you know, a person's natural human, you know, being human is I'm going to lose people that way. I mean, I'm just being real here. No. You know. I, okay. And anybody else on my team can interject here, but like, that's a scarcity mindset. And that had, that fundamentally comes from here and needs to be worked on here. And for every one person that you think you're losing, you're actually losing 15 because you don't have the right mindset that like, it is what it is. And I hate bringing up Jesse Lee Ward because I think it disempowers all of us at some point, myself included, but she did a million in team volume last month and they use one group. I don't really know the ins and outs of it. I don't really know what works. I don't really know how the hell she does all of that organically. I don't really know all of those details, but like, I know that she is a beast. I know she works and I know that she helps her team. And I 
hopefully my team can understand that like I do that as well. So I don't know what you, all of y'all need, I don't know how your tree works or what needs to be set, but fundamentally like you need, if you have a connection with someone that you've been talking to point blank period, that's your person. But if that person doesn't know that they're your person, that's on you. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the event's going to help you get out of your head a little bit more. Yeah. I think like just understand that like just make it your freaking mission with all rhino beastie vibes. I'm getting all of these people into this group. I'm adding them all and I'm telling all of them. So I don't really give a crap about who added who, whatever. It is my freaking job to add a hundred people a day or whatever your goal. I yeah. mean, hundreds a lot, but like 20 people a day making, making that group or making that commitment, you know? We just have to all be on the same page. Yeah. And Jesse Lee Ward's group's secret. So maybe that's something that we have to consider as a team that, you know, we, that then everybody can be traced. Yeah. Okay. But it just hasn't been an issue for us. Does that help? I'm sorry. I get a little fired yeah. up. Yeah. And I just want no. you to get out of your head and I mean it in like a loving way. Yeah. Cause you do know yeah. Facebook, you do know what you're doing. You are amazing human, like freaking add a million people. I'm cats, I'm cats, I'm cats. I love cat, cats amazing. That if you think of it- I that just way, have, I have all this. I need people, I need some people, whoever it is, you guys, Dr. Jeremy, whoever, I need you to take my shoulders and point me and say, I'm behind you and just push the hell out of me. You know what I mean? I like, I don't want, to do that? I don't want people standing in front of me or whatever, you know, I need people behind me going, go, and we're all behind you pushing you, you yeah. know, I don't, I need my energy flowing through a river. I don't need dams put in front of me. So of yeah, whatever, I, whatever group that is or whatever, I need rivers behind me just flowing and going. So, well, that's why I you need to know what, events. I think you're, you're I need to know what group that is. Yeah. And go. Yeah, you're tapped out. You need to be at the event. The event's coming at a perfect time. It's gonna fill your cup back up. Y'all gonna have a you're gonna have a great attitude. I'm gonna kick your butt a little bit more. You can ask me whatever questions you want when we huddle up. It's totally fine. But like my challenge to you, me standing behind you, and this goes for everyone, make it your damn job to get as many people as humanly possible inside a group and the rest will follow. Okay. Got it. Hey Mandy. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so are we supposed to be, what's the rules on like uh, Facebook lives and stuff in the group? I'm kind of confused there. I just think that if you're sharing a Facebook live from your personal page, that looks like you're trying to get people from our group that are already established. So I want you to create native contributions inside the group. And then of course, because you know, you're showing up or whatever people comment, they don't have people. If you're making contribution to the group and they don't have a person like yeah, I'm going to say, Dan, go ahead. We've, you've checked in with me every single day, like in the month of February, like go take some leads. Does that make sense? Well, kind of, I mean, so do you, do you want us, uh, doing posts in the group or uh, yeah. that's the one to do? Yes, sir. Yeah. No. You can do oh. Facebook live. I mean, like don't do them every single day and like dominate the whole like feed. <laughs> but like, if you have something that you think is valuable for, the community or something that you picked up or a recipe or whatever it is like of course like yeah add it to the group i just don't want people to be like think that's one extra group that they can share their own facebook live to does that make sense yeah yeah i got you definitely it's just like a like a, a boundary i guess yeah and just just a comment since i got the mic here um i got a group that has 5600 people in it and it's I'm thinking about shutting it down. So if you're, if you're like building a group and you have like three, 400 people and you're trying to build an audience around it, I mean, I have 5,000 people and it's not successful right now. So Mandy and I are trying to figure out what the direction is, but I'm thinking about just ignoring my group and starting to just post to Mandy's group because it's, there's so much more community in that than there is in mine. Yeah, thanks Dan. And you feel like, like, 
Rochelle or whoever want maybe not Rochelle, but like someone else on our team, like, do you guys feel like I'm putting myself out there, but like, do you guys feel like it's cool? You're safe. Like there's no shady shit going down. Like, are you guys good? Sorry, I swore good on that. I forgot we we're cross line. Um, <laughs> uh, do you feel like you're good on that? Or is there something I'm, I'm, op I don't really care. I'm open to feedback. I'm asking permission. If you feel a type of way. Michelle's happy. Hi, Mandy. Hi, Nick. Here, Nixa. How are you? Great. Can't wait to talk to you tomorrow. Good. Yay. So excited. Um, I definitely feel like it's very open. Um, you have given the space, like for me, to make my Spanish post and post in there and make my, my life and stuff like that in, in the group. Um, and absolutely, as you say at the beginning, this is your group. You have spent a lot of money in it. and most of the customers are yours but then at the same time when you see us like posting and doing stuff on the group you're like yeah just take take care of them um because we know you're super busy all the time so you give us the space to to do whatever on the group so i think it's it's very open with all of us so thank you and at the same time we have the boundary boundaries that your people is your people so make sure that they know you are the person so right yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you said that. And I think that there's a, there's a drawback between being secret and closed because like, we want people to come in, like we want extra people to be able to join our community because the community is popping. But like, sometimes most of the time, like I go to bed by 11 and like some people are awake, like go ahead. I don't want anyone to be like not um, helped or whatever when there's a, still a sale going on and I just can't feel my face anymore because I've been staring at a screen, you know what I mean? So it's just, I think that there's drawbacks and I think that we've set really good boundaries and that's why it works. So, and you know, we can tell like Nix is working because she's adding a million people. But like, if she's like, Hey, listen, I want to start growing my audience. Um, to more Spanish people, like, can I run an ad? Like, yeah, but guess what? People are going to know that she ran an ad because she's speaking Spanish and they know whose it belongs to it. They're all just getting dumped into one space. So I know this is getting long winded and whatever. I just wanted to have an open conversation because I know that this ad, ad tag message thing is very scary for some people, but I'm telling you, if you do it appropriately, whoever your leader is, and you really help contribute, it will work. And you heard it from Dan. He doesn't, he hates his group, which I hated your group from the beginning because every person you connected us with, I was like, <laughs> yeah. Um, but okay. Anyone else? Oh, have I, things? Yeah. Somebody, are sorry. you? Oh, sorry. So Mandy, are you saying that you have a secret group or just a closed group? We have a closed group. Okay. I mean, I no longer run Facebook ads to it, but that is here nor there regardless. Regardless of what, how I personally grow the group, I still take everyone, like you can go into the unit section and see like, I tag people, you know, like it's a real system, like a system. And honestly, when people hit my inbox, it's so much easier because I get, I get people that want free coaching. I get people that like are crying about diarrhea. Like I just can't handle my inbox like 99% of the time. So in order to set that boundary for self care and for exhaustion, I tell them go post in the group, like, and I will approve it and answer it. We have all of our posts approved and like anybody can approve posts, but if they can approve the post, if they're going to be able to answer it appropriately, um, and right away. Cause I don't want somebody to like talk about something and then just that like doesn't have a response from an actual moderator. So like to help you guys with your message inboxes, I think it's smart. Hey, make up a freaking assistant. I do genuinely have an assistant, but like, this is a tip that I actually heard from like a business coach a couple weeks ago before she even started her business, like with an actual assistant, she said, Hey, this is Wendy's assistant, Leah. Um, can you go post that in the group? Like, so they don't have access to you and they're, you're not ener energetically drained. I'm sure your inboxes are all hot messes. So just saying. So Best tip ever. 
Best tip ever. Like I do have a Leah. I mean, sometimes, and I'm actually j thinking about actually getting another phone just to have like an actual work phone and a non-work phone, just because I'm energetically like, you have to set boundaries. This is not even just an ATM thing. This is like, goes back to like two weeks ago or whatever. I did the training on reboots. Like you have to set yourself up for a mental I'm in it to win it. I'm fired up. I'm going to add a million people to this group today. I'm going to, people are going to say yes. If you don't have your head right, it's like game over from day, from hour one, from minute one. So. My cool. question was about um, posts and engagement in the group. Like how, is there such a thing as too many posts? Cause you know, people add posts constantly throughout the day or you're making posts through the day. Does, it's well, different. The algorithm in the group. So I have like a set, like welcome to the group brand new preset because you guys know that like you if yeah you get a hundred new people per week you can set like a preset thing um I definitely don't do a good as good of a job about like contributing content in there I mean Rochelle does a really good job um you know we all try we all do whenever we feel inspired but I mean probably we all could step our games up into that regard because it, the more posts that you have the more active the group will be. Um, but it's the same rules kind of apply to the group as they do the algorithm or within your personal page, like ask questions, like, how's it going today? Like, what's up with you guys? Like those, you know, I everybody on the team should be contributing and answering the questions and commenting on the posts so that they get engagement and other people see them. Yeah, for sure. Okay. But definitely like, you know, or, hey, guys, I'm going live in the group. It's the same thing. It's the same exact kind of rules as the promoter team promoter group. So, so do you do lives both on your personal and your – because I was starting to do both, like some in the group, some on my home homepage, and it gets really confusing. Or you just do – you're doing everything twice. Yeah, um, I mean, like, I share in my group because how Nix has said, like, a lot of people are my own. But, like, I can stop that. It's not really – I'm not really that – it's not a big deal. I just yeah. shared that was the standard process. Well, doing them on your homepage is great because then you can funnel people into the group. But once yeah. you have people in the group, you want to get them online. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So anybody else have anything? Wendy, um, Emily, Kat, Jeremy. <clears throat> Speak an hour forever. Hold your peace. Wendy? I'll talk to you. Where's after. Wendy? I gotta look at her. Where's she at? Wendy? <laughs> oh my god. You're funny. Um, um, cool. I well, one quick thing, Mandy. Um, yeah. Once somebody buys an experience pack from you, have a Google Doc put together with frequently asked questions and the links of where they can go find that. Like, if they buy ketones, move on. Send them that, make them do some work for themselves, and then come back with any questions. That way that you can get out of the chats and stop spending so much time answering those same questions over and over again. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. This really does help the work. Like, oh my God. I remember like last summer, no, not last summer, the summer before when I had ankle surgery, like we didn't have a group. I was in three-way chats with like a million people. Like it was just in pure chaos. Like now this just eliminates things. And then when I set the boundary of like, Hey, I, this is Mandy's assistant. Have to, like you guys can have assistance too. Like, Oh, what should my names be? Make it up. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Um, but yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty much ATM. It was that helpful. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I got to do something like I am literally 16 to 20 hours a day. I mean, my poor husband, bless his heart. And he's, he's, he's all in because he knows that like this year, especially this first year, I'm just, I mean, we we are completely all in with the money and everything, but yeah, something's got to give. Like I got to start working smarter and not harder because I don't even know how I'm doing it at all. For sure. Yeah. Um, I think we all did that our first year, right? Oh, the first year is like exhaust yourself. Yeah. The second year is like, okay, we'll figure, I figured this out and now I know it works. But here's my last, like, I had it and then it was gone forever. 
I had a really good tip. <laughs> and then it was gone. Oh yeah. Okay. So stop talking so much. Like mm -hmm. you have to control, like I was talking, somebody sent me a screenshot and I was like, can you just end it like at one, like, Hey, what do you know about ketones? Like you don't have to give the whole response. And if you're talking so much in messenger and not tagging in third parties, you're not connecting period. So that's actually doing you a disservice. So you really have to have the self-control to not answer the question. Do you know how many times I already know the breastfeeding answer question? I know it. I know the insulin, like the type two diabetes on the reboot question, but I connect with Dr. Jeremy all the time and I tag them into information. Like you have, you have to like stop being so wordy and typing, use voice notes. Like these are just little tips that I've picked up along the way. And like, I'm the first, like I have chronic, it, my shit's super inflamed these days. Like I'm not in the best shape. Like I'm laying in bed and I don't want to go get my con thingy. Like, but I can't just end my business or like not doing, doing things. So like somebody on, as a, just signed up as a promoter and like said that I was being cold to them and it wasn't being cold. It was just like short answers because like, I don't, it's nothing against anyone. It's just short answers. There's no reason to say the seventh, say the long thing. A lot of like, times you have to conserve your own energy and just again, more boundaries. Yeah. Like always know yeah. the outcome of the chat and it, like, what's the outcome? Like, what's the question? Like, what's like, how can we get to the solution? Like as quick as possible. So okay. I'm getting better, but yeah, I'm working on it. You're yeah. going to get tired of talking soon, Kat. And then you're just yeah. going to be like, okay, here's the answer. Here's the answer. Yeah. I just Dr. get so Jeremy, many of those out? heartfelt. Yeah. I'll shut up now. <laughs> no worries. We love you. What, what I like about the power of an ad tag message group is you can create the content that you need to answer. So you can quit answering the same questions over and over. So either use prove it's content, use the frequently asked questions, use Dr. Andy, Dr. Heather's videos, whatever it takes and keep putting good content like that. And if you can't find good content, just make a short little video about that topic. And that way, every time that question comes up, boom, tag, boom, tag, boom, tag, instead of this, you know? Yeah. It's so much easier, guys. Just the fundamentals, ask permission, set boundaries, ask permission to make sure that you're getting in the group. Make sure that you know that walking them through the entire step, hey, I just tagged you in this video, make a note for yourself. Hey, I just tagged Barbara in this video. Like that's, but the system will work if you work it. I don't mean to sound cheesy, but that's really what it is. So it really does. It works a lot smoother and a lot better. And there's a lot more engagement and therefore everybody's businesses are moving quickly because there's so much interest in the group. Yeah. So that's it. I know I rambled a lot. That was great. Thank you. 21% left guys. We did it. Um, Andy, I have one question. Sure. Just one really quick. You're fine. Um, I just want to know what are the, and I got to talk quiet and I is asleep. What are the questions to enter your lifestyle community group? Um, mine are, will you answer all of these questions? <laughs> uh, what is your email? And the only, and I'm going to change that because I just don't do anything with the emails anyways. Like I was collecting them. Um, there was it adding, you know, running ads or whatever, but like realistically you can change it to whatever you want. And do you have a current, are you a current customer or promoter approve it? And if they don't answer all three questions, they don't get in like point blank period. And my favorite is when they answer the last two and then don't answer the last one. And then I look yeah. at their profile and they're like holding ketones. And I was like, yeah, I, idiot but okay I love when they say no but you have 72 mutual friends yes that's like <laughs> my I'm like oh come on I love it those people I'm not willing to help but like if you genuinely need to come in my group and like look yeah, at something reach out and say hey send me your message I'm happy yeah. to help you there's nothing in there that prove it hasn't shown and you guys are all fully capable of making your own videos and content you just need to write a list of your frequently asked questions cool good stuff um all right guys love you i'm excited to see everyone next week and go to sleep snuggle with emily and wendy and rochelle and dr jeremy if he wants to come and rose you can come too oh gee thanks <laughs> all right guys, be my valentine you.
Jeremy, I'll talk. Jeremy, you have to buy a lot of flowers this year. Uh, oh, you can't leave us ladies on it. You don't oh, want no. a lot of pissed off women. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Love you. I'll talk to you later.